and is PG lead the end of your career journey or there are multiple promising opportunities in the medical education. So good, I think today I'm going to uh, talk predominantly about uh, two, two areas. What are the clinical opportunities that exist for all of you? And what are the non-clinical and the upcoming or uh, emerging opportunities for uh, doctors in India? So uh, I, I would ask you to move to the next slide. Good. Uh, so, career avenues um, after medicine, um, either for you could, medicines, yeah. for, the, the, for the undergraduates, for the MBBS graduates, predominantly you could actually continue your journey as a, a resident doctor. There, I, I know some of uh, my classmates and some of the doctors that I know, they're highly passionate about primary care. After their medicine, they, they went for a rural career path. They have been uh, serving as resident physicians. They have been serving as primary care physicians. Um, in the primary health care of India, in the primary health centers, community health centers, which also is promising based on the passion that the individual has. Second, um, some people are highly asp aspirational to have a global career. So there are multiple opportunities there. You could take foreign medical residency programs by clearing the foreign medical licensing examinations. Most of you know, uh, one is United States Medical Licensing Exam, USMLE. The various training opportunities in USMLE. You also have opportunities uh, to go to UK and Europe. There's a PLAB examination which you need to clear uh, for you to step into UK. You have um, uh, Dubai Health Authority's licensing examination for you to continue in ca career in Med Middle East. Um, similarly, there are more such examinations specific to some countries. There's the Australian Medical Council as well. There's an Australian Medical Council examination as well. Then. Um, you also have uh, some promising opportunities of associating yourself with Royal Colleges in UK. You know, uh, it is highly prestigious to get associated or have a Royal College uh, membership or a fellowship. So today in India, there are um, there are about four to five Royal College uh, memberships which are recognized equivalent to the MD or MS. Uh, for example, we have a member of Royal College of Physicians, MRCP. Uh, which has been um, recognized as a equivalent to MD by a special gazette uh, that was released in 2009. And we also have a few more promising careers. One is Royal College of Emergency Medicine. So MRCEM is really picking up and it has tremendous opportunities, not just in India, but globally. Uh, we also have MRCOG, um, some of the doctors who are in, interested in obstetrics and gynecology. Not just MD, OPGYN is not the only choice for you. You also can, could take uh, MRCOG examination and become an obstetrician and gyne gynecologist within India. And uh, similarly, you have uh, MRCS uh, who aspire to become surgeons. Uh, so there are multiple options available. So you have part, uh, most of these uh, membership, Royal College membership examinations are stepwise examinations. You have three steps predominantly, uh, step one, step two, and step three. And most of these Royal College examinations that I mentioned, whether it is Royal College of Physicians, Surgeons, Obstetrics and Gynecologists, or Emergency Medicine, all the three parts could be taken in India, and you could graduate uh, as a member of these Royal Colleges out of India now. Apart from this, you have you can upskill yourself in um, clinical areas through many structured programs available today. You know, the Indian medical education is highly regulated. Most of the programs, you know, there are two institutions that recognize the medical education in India. One is the Medical Council of India, which recognizes the graduate as well as the postgraduate education. And you also have national board of examinations that conduct the diplomatic national board exams in various specialties. 